Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is allegedly the first ever cyber attack blackout. Now, before I start, Happy New Year. I hope you had some time off and enjoyed the holidays, whether it be Christmas or the New Year. This is the first video for this year. I've been away for a few weeks and missed a number of stories. Hopefully, I'll catch up with some of them over time. In any case, today's story is about the first blackout that was allegedly caused by a cyber attack. This happened on December 23rd when a Ukrainian power company suffered blackouts in apparently three different pretty big regions. And just today, the CERT, or Computer Emergency Response Team in the Ukraine, confirmed that this was due to a cyber attack. According to details from Ukraine's CERT and a number of other researchers that have gotten their hands on this particular malware, uh, this was a new variant of the black energy uh, malware that was found on these power systems in the Ukraine. Now, you might remember a few years years ago, in 2014, I talked about black energy before. This was a variant of malware that seemed to be targeting industrial control systems, including oil and energy systems, and it allegedly came from Russia. In any case, this new variant of black energy is similar but has some new things. It has a SSH backdoor. It also has a capability of wiping and killing a computer. And apparently, it also looks for a very specific process running on a Windows machine that is proprietary to a certain type of industrial control system. In any case, there's not a ton of detail really confirming that this was the malware on the systems and really confirming how the blackout actually happened. For instance, this could have just been an accidental issue where malware infected a critical system and caused the system to go down, which could have led to a disaster, or it may be a targeted attack where this malware was designed to take down the energy system. In either case, it's a very interesting story to see that a big critical infrastructure system may have actually had a blackout associated with malware is something security people have predicted for a long time and something that might have only been rumored to happen before. So what can we learn from this? Well, you probably don't run critical industrial control systems. That said, advanced attacks can affect you too. Apparently, this particular malware got in the Ukrainian power provider via a social engineering phishing attack. Somebody sent an Outlook email that had a Word document attached to it, and it was actually user interaction that caused this malware to get in the system in the first place. And this seems to be a pretty big trend with advanced malware. Often advanced attackers, when they go after systems that are technically secure, where they can't find any technical holes to break into, they use social engineering and very targeted spear phishing to go after their victims. So you really want to be on the lookout for spear phishing emails. In fact, if you saw any of my 2016 uh, predictions, you probably know that social engineering is one of the big things I'm predicting next year. In any case, a very interesting attack and perhaps a paradigm shift if bad guys really are targeting critical infrastructure. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.